Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And it's time for another website magazine news organization to shut down. This time it's Sports Illustrated. Now we don't know if Sports Illustrated is going to shut down completely, but pretty much everybody working at the website has gotten gone. That sucks. Uh, for them, yeah, I guess it does. It depends on how you feel about Sports Illustrated, which looking into it more is not the actual Sports Illustrated that people have come to know and love over the years, which explains some of the weird stuff that's been going some on over there. Some of the weird choices as of late. Some of the weird choices, right? Uh, a lot of people accusing Sports Illustrated of getting quote unquote woke and uh, you know them laying off their sports editors at Sports Illustrated. And then writing things with AI. And writing AI which articles. Which fine if you would disclose it. And all of this, and it's because because the magazine name has been sold multiple times over the last couple of years. And this is what I think is probably going to happen to a lot of these websites out there. Like, you know, even if Kotaku gets shut down, somebody might buy the Kotaku name and try to try to make another Kotaku. But it won't work because, and that's what probably happened here. It won't work because it's not authentic to what people expect for that brand. They're just, it's just the name. It's like buying a... Uh, it's like saying you wanted to buy a burger from McDonald's and you get a container with a burger from McDonald's, but it has like uh, Mrs. Paul's fish sticks inside or something. Well, I, I mean, this is going this is going to happen a lot uh, as the years go on because I, I was sitting there thinking today about electronics. I actually was in the electronics section uh, looking at like the Philips and Magnavox branded uh, tchotchkes they have now. Like they don't make like Magnavox TVs anymore, but like that it's not the same company it was. It's somebody no. bought the brand. Well, that's what they do though. They, they, they do that like different people can, like five different manufacturers can buy a yeah. license to use the brand and call them, all of themselves that brand, but they're all different manufacturers making it differently. Right, but people know that brand. They're right. like, oh, Magnavox TVs. I had one of those when I was a kid. So I'm gonna buy the Magnavox, uh, you know, USB charger or whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. it's not actually, the Magnavox company, not right. the one that you remember anyway. Yeah, there's pain for the name. Right, and that's kind of what was happening in Sports Illustrated. And it's it's a pretty convoluted situation. Yeah, we it's were, very confusing. I was I was not understanding it at all. Basically, it just has lost money hand over fist. It used to be part of uh, Time Warner, Time Magazine, and then uh, it got sold off. And then multiple companies have had their fingers in it. And as it gets sold, every time it gets sold... Um, they've had their fingers in a sports A lot of guys Illustrated. have wanted their fingers and things in Sports Illustrated, but that's a whole other story. So uh, every time it gets sold, it loses money. And apparently there's a lot of money that needs to be paid. And of course, we know where these websites are now. Nobody's reading them. The money is running out. The advertising money is running out. Let's be honest. Does anybody care about Sports Illustrated other than the swimsuit issue for a while now? No. Did no. you ever have the swimsuit issues? Uh, moving on. You, oh, did you now? Moving on. Did you really? I, I might have. When I was younger, I might have. Maybe. Then why did you pick me? Because I I love you. You look, you look like Five of them put goddess. together. No, <laughs> I was going to say something else. Uh, so anyway, every every kid had a cup. Sports Illustrated was like the only thing you could buy legally when you're a 12-year-old. This, this is news to me, but okay, it's fine. Well, why would I tell you that? Like, yeah, when I was 12, I might have had a Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue. <laughs> Hey, at least you know I'm straight. I okay? did too. Oh, well, I didn't expect that one. <laughs> Sorry, I did. So anyway, anyway, uh, yeah, lots of people getting laid off. Pretty much everybody. They got blindsided. Um, they put a uh, union uh, message out. Their news guild. And the the thing about this, like, look, I'm not gonna celebrate people losing their jobs, right? But. We're seeing lots of other news organizations, including the LA Times and including uh, Geo Media, which owns The Onion. Ironically enough, I thought this was an Onion article. They're planning to go on strike when media has never been this low in terms mm -hmm. of revenue. Like, it, this is a really bad time. Again, you never ask daddy for a pony when he just lost his job. I mean, people do, but don't expect to get the pony. Uh, don't expect to keep your job. I think what is going to happen with a lot of these companies this year is that they're going to look at the numbers and be like, you know what? Even if we're, we lose money, it, we're going to lose less money if we shut it down. Or we might actually be up if we shut it down and take the tax write off, take the write down, just be like, yeah, this is a money losing operation all the way around. And that'll offset the other companies we have that are actually bringing it. And, you know, too bad, so sad. Like Gizmodo, uh, Geo Media, they're trying to negotiate for, for another union contract. And I'm like, 
again, now's not a now's not a really good time to ask for more. I'm, no. I'm I'm just saying when all these people are losing their jobs and we're reporting almost every week on uh, you know different different media outlets shutting down, consolidating, laying people off. Uh, going in there, being so cavalier and being like, we're going to ask for more money because we're journalists and they need us. We went to journalism college. We went to journalism college. Yeah, that's not going to work anymore. Um, the LA Times, they're going to have their first walkout in 142 years. They're not making money either. They're no, losing money too. I don't think that's a good idea. I don't think it's a good I'm just telling you guys. I don't think it's a good idea, but you do you. So you it's know? the first time they've ever had a walkout at LA Times. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Not but a good time for this. Not a good time. I, I'm just saying. Um, then we got some reactions here. This is uh, this is Newsweek. Cons- Newsweek. Well, I was going to say real quick, the, the LA people, they can just go get a, do- a job at the WGA, right? Yeah, right. You can just, then, yeah. then you'll get your money. Lots of jobs in Hollywood now. There you go. Anyway, sorry. Go ahead. Conservatives are cheering the mass layoffs at Sports Illustrated. Uh, we're not cheering it. We're just saying. We're not conservatives either. <laughs> we're not. You know? People think we are, but we're not. Uh, it's not a good time to push for more money when you should be damn lucky to have a job. But the layoffs are in this case was because they mismanaged the money and they weren't selling anything and they had a bill due. They couldn't pay. Right. I mean, that is, yeah, that's my understanding. They had to pay like $15 million a year or something. And they had a $3.75 million payment come up and they couldn't afford to pay it. And, uh, yeah, it was a breach of the licensing agreement. Again, this is a licensing agreement. This isn't actual Sports Illustrated. Wait, so they're saying that people are going to cheer because they put a trans person in swimsuit edition. Is that what they... And they I, also I put a lot of chunky people in the swimsuit editions too. So, you know... They did. They had a whole thing on body positivity. I mean, and, you know... I mean, you know what? If they didn't sell, they didn't sell. And then that's part of the problem. So I don't know anything about the, the trans person in the book. I didn't pay attention to, nor care. But I'm just saying if they didn't sell, then they didn't sell. They didn't sell. And that's and then they couldn't pay the bills. I mean, it doesn't matter how progressive you are if people aren't buying it. And you're talking like the general public isn't buying it, not just conservatives. Yeah, and and that's that's the thing. Like, and you know, just just to go back to the point about being a licensing deal, like this isn't actually Sports Illustrated. This is this is this is um, um, some other organization wearing the Sports Illustrated brand like a skin suit. You know, the fact that they laid off their sports editors, uh, you know, a year or two ago should tell you everything you need to know about whether or not this is actually Sports Illustrated, because that's what, you know, that was that, like they would be the last ones you would get rid of. Right. Mm-hmm. But no, no, we're, we're going to double down on other stuff. Right? You, you know, you think that they would be like they're saying about conservatives being the ones cheering on. Aren't the far lefties being cheering on now? They're closing it down because they were using AI articles. You would think. Yeah, so they actually bring this up now. What's interesting is this Newsweek article. They basically just they basically just cite Tim Pool. They and, always do that, like you and know. Uh, Ace Indie Biz, a supporter of Trump, so who what? said, uh, "Go woke, go broke." Sports Illustrated has been trash for the last ten years, but well, the numbers have been trash for you know quite a while. That's just yeah. you know probably yeah. provable. Yeah. Um, you would think that people would more people would be cheering this on because they got busted. This is a, a pretty sizable publication, or at least a pretty well-known brand. You know, even if it's just wearing Sports Illustrated like a skin suit, um, that is is basically like, yeah, you know what? We can just generate uh, AI articles and uh, generate uh, AI authors too, and that's totally cool. You know, we. <laughs> I'm sorry. As the print magazine struggled to transition in the digital media landscape and basically used AI, shouldn't you have supported that? They were transitioning. Oh. Ooh. How dare you? How dare you, you bigot. So I don't know, guys. I think we're going to have we're going to have a lot of uh, videos this year talking about a lot of these digital publications shutting down out of necessity. And in a lot of cases, stupidity, just absolute stupidity. There's I mean, you know, I don't know why people think in this economy that these websites are going to generate millions and millions and millions of dollars and they're never going to hit a ceiling when, uh, you know, there are smaller publications that are folding because they can't make the, the ad revenue. And again, it was all it all comes back. I think it comes back to venture capital. And they talked about venture capital and they had BlackRock involved in this at some point in time and all that. But like they had all this free money. They didn't have to be profitable. And now they're going to have to be profitable. And guess what? People don't want this shit. So well, they couldn't pay their bills. So they could pay their it bills. Is what it, is. it is what it is. So we're going to wrap it up. Yep. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views and rants. And we'll talk later. Bye.